And introducing the referee on stage, Mr. Satra Supasai. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, the challenger, fighting on the blue corner, 23 years of age. He's standing at 175 in this hall and weighing 135 pounds. He will record up 82 wins, 43 losses and five draws. He is former WBC Muay Thai World Champion and former Wrestling Nerd Stadium Champion and RWS 2023 Lightweight Tournament runner-up. Representing Udon Thani Province, Thailand, the Turek Po, Samindad, no, Anuat J. And his opponent, the champion, fighting about the red corner. 20 years of age, he stand at 171 centimeters tall and weighed 135 pounds. He or record of 49 wins, my losses and two draws. He is the current Russian of the Stadium Lightweight Champion representing Suratani Province, Thailand, the Jared Paul, John Ramchand. The moment we've been waiting for, the main event of the evening. And still all are new. Let's find out. Five rounds, three minutes, round number one. Two very technical fighters. I've seen them both in action, especially some of the, like Aaron mentioned before, was part of the RWS tournament last year. Big left kick to the midsection there by Samming Dead. Oh, and a good left hand as well. I really do think people overlook Samming Dead. Mm -hmm. He might be one of the most underrated fighters we have here on RWS. Big oh. left and right hand coming in. He also has a win over Yota Shikamori, in which he won at RWS Japan back in February. He drew with Chalam Paranchai in December, which is a stablemate, of course, of John Paranchai. And John says that he wants to try and make that up for Chalam by defeating Samindet right here tonight. Samindet looking in amazing shape tonight. Yeah, not bad, not bad at all. <laughs> the teeth there by Samindet. There's only two losses here at RWS have been against Lamna Moonlock. And of course, that, one of those was in the final of the tournament, in which he won two rounds over Lamna Moonlock, which is pretty incredible in itself. There's a right. Oh, sweet! Matrix move! Going through the ropes. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Two very Woo. respectful fighters. I think Sam in there has been doing yoga. <laughs> Super cut down from Samming Dead. Catches the kick and throws a one-two. Back and forth action here in the first round. All fighters looking to establish their own rhythm. Who's going to be the fastest? Who's going to have the better timing? Right now, it's Samming Dead with the left kick. Oh, good left elbow there from Samming Dead within the clinch as well. Gotta say, Samming Dead looking tremendous right now in round number one. He is indeed. Of course, not only the attacking acumen, but when you get to this level, it's the defense as well that's so incredible as well from both fighters. Sometimes, we saw it, I think, with Nitikon and Petsian. It's so difficult to even land shots. Beautiful there, once again, beautiful. by Samming Dead in full flow here in round number one. What a beauty coming from Samming Dead. Did kick with his left leg. John, the champion, saw it. He blocked it the second oh. time, going low. Elbow there from John. Posse. Oh, and again, Sammy Day. Had to move out of the way of that one. Some uh, big powerful warning. and vicious elbows there from John Parenchai. A big warning coming from the champion. Ooh. Tempted step in the off balance throw. Sammy Day. End off. Wow. Let's see round number one here in the title fight. Absolutely, back and forth action, not really sure how they're going to score this one. Well, John is celebrating like he did enough there in round number one. I 
And officially, of course, I think Salmon Gate did enough. So at the end of round number one, we're probably going to see more of that now in round number two. Let's find out. Here we go. Round number two. The Ooh. pressure is on the champion. He's got to push forward now as he's behind. Good, quick. Good kicks to the midsection here by John. He's got more. Look on his face, massive elbow, though, in reply by Sammy Gett. Sammy Gett, remember, 23 years of age, and he's looking, in my opinion, better than ever right now. He's really grown into the frame, 135 pounds. This time that he fought at that weight, weight I believe, was in the tournament, where he went up from 130 pounds, where he had a lot of success. Once again, he's beating the strike. Woo! And a takedown coming from Sammy Gett. The champion still pushing forward. The challenger in control so far. It's the champion chasing the challenger. Oh, once again, a very relaxed and very composed Sammy Gett. Finding, or at least looking for elbow strikes as John is doing well here in this clinch. He is indeed. See, John, you can see that he's trying to make this a bit more gritty, a bit more With that team. Perfect More in the champion. Wow. Perfect timing coming from Sunday. There, John wants to engage that clinch. You can see that, and Sammy Get doesn't really want to. Mm. Moving backwards away from that clinch already. Oh! See, John acknowledging the elbow strikes. Okay, this time, John stays on his feet. Pointed elbow from John. Tying up Salmon Get. Looking for knees. The pressure's starting to pay off just a little bit more now for John Parenchai. Yeah, absolutely. But Salmon Get's still in control right now. Big elbow attempt to deep kick. He's looking very quick. Oh, oh big right hand. Yeah, quick and confident. Oh, taking that. Oh my goodness, this is incredible. Absolutely teaching a lesson to the champion right now. Big left kick again. It seems like John is going to have to come up with a different game plan if he wants to get in range. Seems very comfortable using his team, circling around. Looking very relaxed tonight. He is. He's coming to this fight almost like he knows that he's going to win. He's got that aura around him. Mm. Even backstage, he was looking very relaxed, taking it all in his stride. There was no look of worry at all on the face of Salmon Dead. Oh. The strike to the midsection from John, but again, he's eating. Yeah, Low kicks, like body kicks, right hands. So far, it seems like everything that John is doing is not working out. I feel like for every one strike that John connects with, Salmon Dead connects with two or three at the moment. There's another leg strike by Salmon Dead. <laughs> Side teeth to end the round. Wow. Cruise control for the challenger and a look of worry once again on the face of John Parentine. I don't think he was expecting this. Time. I don't think he was, and I don't think anybody was expecting this at all. For the promotion. We've also got some big issues right now for John Parentine. Yeah, absolutely. All right, he's two rounds down as the champion with three rounds remaining. He really cannot afford to lose this round. Now the question is, what is going to be the game plan from the champion? Trying to get in the clinch, didn't work out in the second round. Will it work out in the third? Perhaps the right kick is the answer, or is it not? Oh. Looking for that big elbow strike, but a foot. Oh, John connecting with left and right elbows of his own. I said in round number two, he wanted to make this dirty. Oh, Ooh. look at Sammy Gett, look how Ooh. strong he looks. At 135 pounds. Sammy, as well, he looks like he's been working. Oh. Finished big right hand there from John. And again, John. That's oh. all. Attack right now in round number three. Yeah, he needs to bring something different to the table, and he is indeed not a champion for nothing. Oh, but a big elbow coming from something there. His job is risking it. He's walking through the shots of Salmon Dead to try and throw those big shots of his own. And right now, it is so good. It is working. It is indeed. John going to war, forcing Salmon Dead to fight back, forcing Salmon Dead to be in an uncomfortable position. 
you see now Samin there just taking a little breather and wrapping his hands around John. Another big left elbow there from John. Good left kick to the midsection. Oh. Right from John Paranjai. It is competitive. The champion needs to win this round. If not, you'll need a knockdown to be able to win that by decision. Absolutely, and I feel like John. Look, you've got to look the urgency. Oh. The champion he throws another big right hand, but also gets connected, gets slapped to the body with that left kick once again. The champion is chasing. Oh, oh. right hand from John. Good spot tactic here from Sammy there, just to give him a few seconds off. Difficult round to score, Antoine. Yeah, absolutely. John, bringing, bringing the action, fire. Yeah. <laughs> but something that's still able to land over and over and over with that left kick. Very true. Oh, oh. oh a big elbow there from John. Not but, many smiles on the face, though, of Sammy there. Yeah, absolutely. Ooh. John, all out attack. He's done exactly what he needed to do. What the question a remains with 50 seconds left on the clock. Are the judges seeing it in his favor right now? Yeah, it is a very close round indeed. Every single action and seconds count right now. Good duck under once again there by Samingen. He was expecting that right hand. It's different in this round, I believe. But we didn't see him on to it. Oh! Samingen hasn't been able to take John off his feet. All out pressure yeah, by Sean Paranchai in round number three. Incredible action here in the third round, the championship fight. Oh, oh the big right hand, but good kicks. Two kicks in fight by Sammy Gett once again to the body of John Paranchai. You see the cheering Woo! in the corner of John, not so much so in Sammy Gett. Does yeah. that tell a story in itself? Are the judges going to see it in favor of the champion in round number three? This is definitely a round that could go either way. You have the champion, a lot of aggressive moments. Right now, with only two rounds remaining. I mean, you you thought that John might have taken that I round. I did, I did. One? Again, it was a very close round. We have we had the champion being way more aggressive and landing a lot of hands, but again, taking some kicks within the process. So it's understandable. All Are right, you? well, let's see what happens in round number four. I'm, I'm assuming we're going to see more of the style of round number three from John Parentine. Indeed we are. Sammy get now holding on. Yeah, he is at the head on the scorecard now. For Sammy get it's all about not getting knocked down or knocked out to win the fight. Hey, hey, John, what? though. That left kick to the body. Yeah. Absolutely money for Sammy get all throughout those three, those three rounds. Sorry to cut you off. No, absolutely. Now it's all about getting that drop for John. You know, he'll be running after those hands. Big left and right hands there from John. Sammy get on the retreat. And again, that left hook and to the temple. You can see something that is running for the big right hand. This is why John has been hitting the body before he hits the head. Yeah, and also going with the left instead of the right as well. Working well for John early on in this round. Oh, just a slip there. Of course, the ref will have to be looking at John. If he is fighting back or not, indeed. Oh, good left kick once again. Now just trying to hold on. Quite right, because Sammy Deck is constantly now on the back foot. And we, of course, we've seen in previous fights where the referee is telling to the fighter on the back foot, you cannot keep moving yeah. backwards. We haven't seen that warning yet. And now just holding on. Okay, once again, Sammy Deck on the retreat. Left kick. Ooh, good body shot. Oh, and again, and again, and again. Sammy Dett actually moved oh, he's into hurt. the right hand. He's hurt. He is. He is. Oh, the ref is going to have to to call and give a warning for not really fighting back right now. One minute and a half remaining on the clock. Left hand to the body there from John. Inside kick from Sammy Dett. Oh, stuck in the corner now. Two right hands evaded there by Sammy Dett. Just over one minute to go here in round number four. Oh, oh, oh. Once again. Whenever it lands, you know it hurts. Inside kick. Oh, look at that. Attempted one-two combination by John. Missing the mark. 
He looks like he slowed down, or was he? As he moves towards something dead. Oh, and every time it lands, it hurts. Now, he's just looking to completely destroy that right arm. Yeah, how many more kicks to the arm can John Parenchai take? Oh. oh, good left hook once again there from John. Still 20 seconds left on the clock. Tempted elbow, but blocked there by Samming Dick. Yeah, Samming Dick once again on the back foot, left kick. Yeah. End of round number four. It looks like it will be another round in the books for Samming Dick. The more confident of the two going back to the corner. John looking a little bit despondent right now. He knows that he's just a few minutes away from losing that title belt. If indeed, very difficult task. Let's see what happens here in the fifth and final round of our main event. And let's not forget, we've got a bonus bout coming up after this one, after Antoine interviews the winner. Let's find out who that will be. Packed house once again here on RWS. They've really created something special. We get to see that title belt defended week in, week out against high level opponents, which is what you want in the sport. There you go, jump chasing. Samming Det ducking under. Good block there from Samming Det. Left hand there. And there it is, that kick to the arm of John. Still throwing that right hand though. And again, back to the arm. See John, doesn't want to be tied up. If he's going to go out, he's going to go out on his shield. He's going to go out throwing, he's going to go out slinging, looking for that knockout strike, which of course he needs now. Oh! Oh, oh gosh, with that slip. Just over two minutes now for John to pull out a miracle. Tempted elbow strike within the clinch. Samingette is two minutes away from becoming a two-way, two-time Rajdamnern Stadium champion. It's looking very good for him. I mean, he started so well. And he didn't really let John get on top throughout this fight. Even fighting off the back foot. Good right hand once again there from John. I tell you what, Samadek can take a, take a big punch. Looking unfazed here with 90 seconds left on the clock as he off balances John with an inside kick. Keep there by Samadek. And again, in target targeting the inside leg. Another right hand attempted by a desperate John. Oh, right high kick there from John. We saw that in the last fight. Exactly what high kicks can do and what power they can possess. And how they can put your opponent in all sorts of problems. Time running down here for John Parenchai. Another left kick to the arm, another evaded kick. Left up there from John as Sammy Dett once again ducks under. 30 seconds left on the clock. Is there anything that the champion can do that he can pull out to try and knock out Sammy Dett? Big swinging elbow wide off the mark. And that could be it. As the seconds tick away, the title belt will indeed move camps and move fighters here as the fan club of Samingdet goes crazy. Great appreciation being shown by all the fans in the stadium here at Rajadamnern. Big congratulations to Samingdet. The question is though, the question that's on everyone's lips at 135 pounds, is Lamna Moonlet next? The fighter who has defeated Samingdet on two occasions. Is he next? Are we able to put that fight together as we look on at the highlights from this fight? 
a masterful performance in the end by Sami Den. John doing everything in his power to try and swing and take out Sami Dek on numerous occasions. He had a great round number three. There was that high kick at the end of round number five. But you've got to give him credit. I mean, the first two rounds by Sami Dek were incredible. Maybe the best two rounds that you've seen from Sami Dek and John. It was a big uphill battle. He left himself so much to do after those first two rounds. And Sami Dek able to counter strike. Will indeed get that stadium title wrapped around his waist for the second time in his career. Let's make this one official and then we'll get an interview with the new champion by Mr. Antoine before we move on to our bonus bout here tonight on RWS. Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to introduce the chairman of Russian the Lanking Committee, Mr. Pry Banyalak. And introduce the president of RWS and the board director of Russian the Stadium, Mr. Bak Tien Chai Bisit Wutinan. And now, ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds of Muay Thai action, we go to the judges' scorecard. All three judges score this bout 49 to 46. Declaring your winner by way of Judah Decision!